I've never seen a bear in my life and now it's a weekly occurrence, especially now that they're awake. Yeah, remember it's spring, even with the weather we're seeing now. Yeah, spring is here, which brings the bears out of hibernation. They are in search of food. Of course they are. They're hungry like the rest of us. <laughs> it's not just people in the high country, though, that have to keep a watchful eye out. One clever bear in Morrison got caught looking all in all the right and wrong, depending on places where you ask, depending on who you ask, rather. Nine News reporter Ali Levine shows us the bear's sneaky tactic. Growing up in, you know, Colorado, it's, I like to live with the nature in a sense. Peace, quiet, wildlife. It's all part of the draw. It is. It is. Growing it's what brought Chad Slade Colorado. and his wife to Morrison four years ago, a refuge from the smell. hassles of city life. And I was relieved that I do live in the mountains and I didn't have to worry about it being a burglary. But even in the mountains, cars are vulnerable to break-ins. <laughs> The thieves are a little hairier and much more hungry. Yeah, the bear, it, he smelt an unopened bag of smart food popcorn. The camera on Chad's front porch caught the whole thing. Watching it back, Chad isn't alarmed. He had a plan of action, <laughs> it seemed like. Impressed, maybe. It struck to me that he was aware that the door could come back closed on him. Amused, even. It's fun, <laughs> as long as you know that they're not going to hurt you but aware of the danger this video implies. Bears are extremely smart. When they learn a food source, they're going to come back to it. The picture, uh, a good opportunity for Colorado Parks and Wildlife to remind people bear, bear country isn't relegated to high country. People may be surprised what qualifies as bear country. Morrison, west of C-470 into Lakewood, Littleton. Protecting their nature means protecting human spaces. But always lock your cars, lock your homes, your windows on your lower level homes, keep your windows up on your cars. Don't give them an easy path to break in. Bears are a part of life up here. Chad plans to follow that advice. He hopes this bear will follow his. I think picnic baskets would be better to break into. Colorado Parks and Wildlife says it's important for anyone who has a bear on their property to let them know about it. That way they can intervene to protect the bear before it comes too comfortable around people.